I'm going to be preaching on July the 18th, and while I am excited, I must remember the responsibility one who preaches not only to his congregation, but potentially to anyone who watches online. The responsibility I have to the truth. I must remember that as a preacher, I'm simply a servant. Just because I stand up in front of people doesn't make me anyone of any real importance. Just about any man can preach, some better than others, of course, and I do consider myself another. Yet, it's also good for me to show my faith, and that is why I put forth the effort at home to make my outlines, my PowerPoint, and eventually at church to stand up and present the material. It does make me nervous, though, because there's a lot of pressure for me to do well. I'm going to slightly modify what Sun Tzu once said. If words of command are not clear and distinct, if orders are not thoroughly understood, then the general is to blame. But if orders are clear and the soldiers nevertheless disobey, then it is a fault of their soldiers. Considering this concept, I remember that my brain doesn't work like everyone else's, and that's something I've had to learn the hard way. I may get where I need to in my brain, but sometimes I do give A, but B and C get muddled. Eventually, we'll all get to D, though. I can't preach that way, which is why I need and constantly request the help of alpha and or beta testers. It may be annoying to them, but it's to everyone's benefit that I continue the request. If my message is not clear and easily digestible, I have failed the congregation. If it is clear and scriptural and people nevertheless disobey, that's on them. If they refuse to obey, I need to do as the apostles did and shake the dust off my feet. Everyone has to work out their salvation, as Paul told the church at Philippi. So my, my mindset as a pinch-hitting preacher, it's a pretty complicated one, isn't it?